James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying up a very classic looking Giorgio Armani tie. It's a brand new tie, I haven't had a chance to tie it yet, so you're going to see me tie it for the first time. The reason I say classic is because it's a, it's a wide tie as far as this way, uh, you know, size uh, left to right goes. Um, you know, when I say thick tie, I talk about the thickness this way. Wide, I talk about it this way, or narrow or thin tie. So this is a wide tie, and it's got diagonal stripes. And to me, that's about as classic as you can get when it comes to ties. It's wide with uh, diagonal stripes, and I personally love that look. I like the classic ties. But it's a brown tie with diagonal stripes, and the stripes are kind of a gold. That's gold, and then it's gold and brown, and then it's like a really deep chocolate with almost a honeycomb looking pattern within it. On my Instagram, you'll see some close-ups of it. As far as a review goes, though, uh, as I was showing you, is a fairly thick tie. Uh, definitely has a little bit of, um, of, of uh, substance to it. Uh, it is a really good silk, as you can see. You know, the silk just lays down. It's not rigid or starchy. Um, Giorgio Armani does make a great product. Obviously, they're one of the best known men's luxury brands out there um, and I've got a few of their products and they, everything I've had has been good so we're going to tie this up here in a second see how it comes together uh, it does have a nice feel to it, nice silk, so let me button up this top button get the color up and we'll go to town you guys ready to see a Giorgio Armani tie tied alright, let's put it around our neck, let's find our spot, because it's a little bit of a thick tie I've got to leave a lot of room. When you hear me talk about uh, you know, thickness of tie, thickness of silk, um, a thinner silk tie, we need less of this side of the tie, the long part. Thicker, we need more because it takes more silk to tie that knot. So let me find a good spot here. Because it's a thicker tie, it's probably going to be somewhere around here is what my filling is. So let's tie it up, see what it looks like. So we take the long part of the tie over top of the short part. Then we go underneath, behind, up and through. Then we come around behind holding everything nice and tight together, up, over, and through. Now we've reached what I call the checkpoint. This way we want to make sure that our triangle is coming together nice and make any adjustments and it's coming together really good. Now take the long part of the tie out over the front and here's where the tie knot starts to take shape. Behind, up and through, and then we go down and through that pocket we just created. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie through, make our final adjustments, hold on to the knot, we pull on the long part to tighten it up, and that's where the knot comes in and starts getting real sexy there. Now, uh, we want to make sure we have a nice tight knot when we're tying a full Windsor like this. And we want the tip of the tie to come about somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. Um, and right now we are barely past the top, just barely past the top. So today I'm just doing Zoom meetings. Uh, so I'm okay with this. If I was uh, going to be meeting with people, I'd probably retie this a little bit longer or watch this magic trick. We can take the, even though the knot's a little bit tight, we can actually tighten up a little bit more. Pull a little bit more of that out and gain us some slack there, right there. Boom. Got some more slack. But still, let's see how this thing comes together. Now, I chose a light blue shirt today just because you can do light blue with just about anything when it comes to ties. I thought about purple. I think this tie will look real good with purple. But I wore purple yesterday and I tried to mix it up a little bit. But I do wear more light blue than anything, as you can try to tell by all the light blue shirts in my wardrobe. Um, all right, let's tighten everything up, make it come together really nice here. Uh, tie tied a really nice knot, very nice knot. Um, you know, it just looks great, feels great. Uh, good silk, so good job, Giorgio Armani. Uh, they made a nice tie here. Let's uh, tuck this in. And the look will start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going to go over with you right now. Today we're wearing a brown Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit. It's a light brown. It's one of my favorite suits. I wear it quite often. Uh, and I just like the way it fits me everything else. It was tailored to me, and I really like it. Uh, we're in a brown Amerna Gildo suit, a blue Brooks Brothers shirt, light blue. We're in a dark brown with uh, gold and brown striped Giorgio Armani tie. We're in a light brown Salatory Ferragamo belt buckle. I'm sorry, belt, light brown belt with a gold belt buckle. And we're wearing a pair of light brown Salatory Ferragamo Lace up Oxfords. On my Instagram, tie guy James Akers, you'll see close ups of the shoes and the belt, you know, staged, close ups of the tie with the knot, selfies of me with the outfit on. Uh, so check out my Instagram, tie guy James Akers. If you like my videos, please click subscribe and like, but I am ready for work.